Hey everybody, Alec here. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the profile of Samuel from Nigeria, who's a web and graphic designer. So let's look into it. First of all, hey, from Nigeria, I have a lot of new viewers in Nigeria, Nigeria recently, and you guys ask great questions in the comments, and I'm glad you reached out because uh, getting people who ask for me to make these profile reviews really helps me with my content recently. So thanks for asking this um, profile review, and uh, yeah, I'm glad to look into it. So first thing, hey, you have uh, some specialized profiles, which are variants of your profile for different uh, parts of your work, which is awesome, especially since you have very varied expertise in fields that are not uh, necessarily always connected. For example, you can do graphic design that is not related to web design. So I'm glad that you put both of these um, separated and CMS development. Okay, so you do programming as well. Uh, or at least uh, you you do some um, work with plugins or that thing. I'm going to look at this uh, later, but uh, yeah, you look like a, I, think, I don't know, is, is it polymath, polyglot, po probably polymath. Like you're, you're a very talented guy in many things, which is awesome. So 2000 plus earnings. So you started on Upwork, 13 jobs, 87 hours. Good job. So you're starting to be successful in Upwork, which is awesome. And you have native or bilingual in English, which is important, German and pretty cool. Yeah, you have all talents, man. That's pretty cool. So education, uh, HubSpot. I've heard that name before. What is HubSpot? Probably an online site like um, Udemy or Treehouse. All right, and open classroom. Okay, so you're a self-learner just like me. And, oh, you have a Bachelor of Engineering, damn. Okay, let's go see your GitHub. Okay, maybe I would change that profile picture, however, if you have to send people uh, over to your GitHub. And maybe I, I'm going to talk about uh, your profile picture here. You have a good uh, picture, which has a good neo-professional style. Uh, it, um, my, my, uh, I have three basic styles of, of profile pictures, the way I intellectualize this. And uh, for a lot of people watching... Uh, what a lot of people do, the reason their pictures look awkward is they're trying to mix a lot of different styles or they're following a list of guidelines on how to make a good picture. But there's many ways of making good pictures. And what you want to do is instead of just trying to follow all the gu guidelines, try to follow a specific style. It doesn't matter if you're doing something authentic with a natural background or you're doing something with a white background and good lighting and a professional attire or another style. As long as you follow one specific style and you're not just following different guidelines that give you some sort of a weird mix, mitch, mat, mix of different styles, which looks awkward. As long as you focus on one style, it's going to give you a lot of results. So I think that the best way to make good profile picture is to actually focus on seeing what works and trying to model what other people are doing. And I don't know if that's what you did, but you built a really good professional profile picture. It really gives a good first impression, man. So yeah, you have uh, you have to be proud of that and you're top rated, which is awesome. Good job for, for your success so far. Man, uh, it feels a lot. It feels really good. You're the second top rated freelancer asking me to, to review your profile so i guess um i guess i'm starting to build some sort of uh, reputation uh, or respect or something on youtube man it really means a lot to me that top rated freelancers ask me to to review your profile it's it's awesome so um yeah so your github uh, okay so you don't have any public uh, things on, on on your github uh, but I think the fact that you put it there is not necessarily hurting you. I don't think people are going to look at it that much. And if they look at it, I don't think it's going to hurt you that they're not going to see a lot of things on it. But uh, yeah, I think it's it's just a benefit. If they click on it, they're just going to click out and not really worry about it too much. And if they don't click on it, well, they see that you have it and sort of helps you with your credibility, uh, especially in the, the well in, in the programming side for your programming jobs. And um, yeah, let's keep going. So expert web and graphic designer. If you are indeed an expert, which it looks like you are, I just saw a peak of your um your 
portfolio and looked pretty good. Uh, $30 an hour, that's uh, pricing you can definitely get away with in this field. Your, I will say though that uh, $30 an hour, I think the average I calculated for um, web design was $31.50 or something. Uh, I don't exactly remember. I should I, I should put these these calculations out my sheet for uh, future profile reviews because I think that that's actually really interesting data. But I think you should you could charge more uh, as a top rated freelancer. With uh, we're gonna look at your portfolio later. But yeah, it, it looks amazing, man. You you can charge a lot more than that. Don't be afraid to charge more than that because um, you're not going for cheap clients anyway you're looking for clients looking for quality and people looking for quality are often willing to pay more to get you and man uh, as a top rated freelancer uh, you have a lot more credibility than many people you have here these testimonials you know you, you have so many indicators of expertise and cre credibility on your profile that it's it's probably going to be very easy to get clients to be willing to pay you more money than that uh, and, and your portfolio man it looks it looks absolutely fantastic so so far, the, the first thing I have to say is that you're doing a great job and the only thing so far that I'm like you should change is probably your hourly rate that you should increase. So I guess that's a really good start. So yeah, you're starting out with uh, quotes, which is not the standard thing, but it, uh, I've seen it a couple of times and uh, let's see your quotes. Uh, Samuel did a great job building my website, which is, a, which is good and very specific, though maybe not ideal for a web uh, web and graphic designer profile it's probably amazing for your CMS development but um, there's there's some little bit of a mismatch between these two but I like the specificity that he says webs oh yeah no for web designer web designer still works on a website so it works for, forget what I just said uh, Samuel is the best a great communicator and very attentive to detail that's awesome and also got my project completed in record time so what I like what you're doing here is that you're basically stacking benefits you're saying do a good job flexible easy to work with and then you're adding the benefit that you are a great communicator uh, and uh, yeah, you're just adding all the, the the reasons why clients would want to work with you. I don't know if it's just the three testimonials that you have or that you identified this as your best, but I think you did a great job there in your choice of testimonials. Samuel went above and beyond, super professional, would work with him again. So far, great, great, great profile. Hey there, Samuel here, I'm a graphic designer. Man, I love that you're casual in your speaking, which fits well with the dressing that you have in this uh, picture and uh, the fact that you're selling yourself as a good communicator and fun to work with. Uh, man, you're 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 doing you're doing you're doing a great job. Seriously, this is an amazing profile. Uh, uh, and the testimonials above are from past clients of mine. Uh, you'll agree with me that every business wants to establish a strong brand identity and grow its online presence, sales, and customer engagement. Maybe this this um, sentence is maybe the client is not is not thinking in those terms. Maybe you should think about using less technical terms unless these are keywords that you're trying to, to get for, for SEO purposes, I think that most clients are not thinking in the term, are not thinking about, oh, I want to increase my online presence. Uh, sales is, is more what they're thinking about in their mind. And, and there's no one who's like, oh, I want more customer engagement. Those are not the words that clients are using in their, in their mind. That's not the way people are thinking about it. Those are kind of like the jargon of, of the marketing and business world but people although they use this jargon in, in their communication that's not what they're using necessarily in their mind when they're thinking about it and small businesses uh or um exec or um businesses that that uh the owner runs themselves um who are often good clients although a lot of them are often cheap clients they don't have necessarily a marketing background or a business background so these terms 
are not terms that they even use in their communication with other people. So they're definitely not the way that they think about the, these things themselves. Like maybe they don't even know what brand identity is. So maybe I would suggest rephrasing this with exactly like the, the line of thinking that they have. Like all of these, like a strong brand identity is maybe all, maybe you'll agree with me that uh, every business wants to be perceived as reliable and, and uh, <clears throat> of high value or something like that and uh, get more and get more customers through their website and all and uh, social media or, or something more specific uh, and get more loyal customers or some, something like that like it's a quick rephrasing that I did but if you take your time and figure it out, like, I mean, you build such a big profile, a good profile that I'm sure you're going to find a way to phrase this. But I think that the essence of what you're saying is pretty good. It's just the, the phrasing is maybe using two technical words than, than, than what clients are actually using in their minds. Uh, and maybe one of the things that, that you can think about is that uh, there are many tools online to evaluate the language level of... Uh, of the people, I don't remember the name of the tool, but um, if you search on Google for something like uh, um, language level test or um, language grade level test, you're going to see like what's the um, reading proficiency level in terms of like United States um, high school years or elementary school year to, to see like what's, what's the level of reading. And one of the things that you, you want to realize and the reason you want to use this is that most people are not able to fully understand things over, I think, like eighth grade level reading. And what happens is that even though you're dealing with entrepreneurs who are usually intelligent people, what happens is that they skim through the text. They don't really read it, really trying to focus and understand everything. So their reading level is going to decrease because they're just reading fast and sort of uh, just skimming through. So what you want to do is you want to try to uh, make your sentences very simple and easy to understand. And um, I'm not saying your, your, your sentence like, well, it's maybe a, a bit hard and requires a lot of thought to, to get because of uh, the technical terms. So yeah, using this sort of tool that tells you like what's the language reading level of, of your text uh, helps you because you're going to be able to use this tool and copy and paste in all of your uh, sentences in your profile so that you see the uh, reading level of all your your sentences so you can see which ones that you need to lower. And I would say uh, trying to to position yourself as eighth grade reading level or lower is probably ideal. And uh, even one of the things I want to say also is that there's some people who are a bit narcissistic and uh, a bit proud and they like reading complicated stuff and feeling like they understand and they, they sort of use it, use it as a sense of pride. But I don't know. I think it was Einstein or some, some famous guy who was saying that uh, uh, there was sophistication or maybe the best communications like simple communication or that something like intelligent uh, people communicate very clearly and simply, or I don't really remember, but there, there was a famous quote about um, simple communication and intelligent people. And uh, the point I'm trying to get at here is that um, maybe this quote is not the best way to illustrate this, but even intelligent people prefer to be talked to and read things that are in a simple level of English. So uh, working on that might be a, an interesting avenue for uh, fine-tuning uh, your profile, which is already really good, honestly. Uh, and I will, es let's keep reading, and I will establish a strong visual identity and online presence that drive engagement and sales, whether for your business or for your client's business. Uh, it's good. Same issue, however, uh, with the technical jargon as earlier. However, uh, again, if you're using these 
specifically as keywords for your SEO. It's great if that's not specifically to get better SEO and appear higher in search results and get recommended more through Upwork. And it's basically just the way that you talk because that's how you think you should talk. And it's not a specific strategy to rank for for, for these words. Um, I would say it's probably a better bet to change them for a simpler language. Using the design process, I take... Uh, I think a collaborative approach, working closely with you to deliver a tailored solution that meet your unique needs and goals. That's awesome. I like the fact that you know earlier you were saying that uh, you did a you know very professional, works great, uh, attentive to detail. All of this very makes it so that uh, it makes it gives in the client the impression that you're going to deliver tailored, unique solutions which is awesome and also that you're going to do a good job and that you offer premium services in the sense that you're not doing something copied and pasted and fast. You're actually really looking at people's needs and uh, uh, doing a good job. I think that what you write here is what I criticize often in other people's profiles. And I think that many people watching this, you need to take attention to this because most people write basically a variation of this that they're, they're saying, hey, I listen to you and I, I'm going to work really hard. But the way that they present it feels very neat needy and feels uh, very much like, hey, I, 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 you should hire me because I really care. And what you do is basically you use it as one of the benefits to, to hire you, but, but you convey so much value through the way that you pre present yourself professionally and also um, through uh, all the indicators of, of quality of your services so far that even though what you're saying is basically the same thing as everybody else, the way that you say it uh, really makes a big difference. So you did a great job there. From concept to delivery, I prior prioritize clarity, consistency, and impact to ensure your design investments drive real results. Maybe this sentence is also a bit um, too uh, hard to understand. But um, what I like also to point out is that your use of uh, professional, um, I don't know how you call that, but you have a very professional tone, which is going to please, you have a very professional tone, but also not too professional and, and, and square and, you know, uh, too corporate, but still corporate enough so that uh, the high paying clients or managers uh, or HR departments for, from big, big businesses that uh, have high they're looking for quality freelancers and are willing to spend a lot of money are going to see you as um, more valuable and more professional because of the way that you communicate. So uh, it, 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 I think I, I think you're doing a great job because you are attracting these people in a sense just through the tone of your communication. Man, this is this is this is really a, a great profile area of expertise design great so you're using this to put all your keywords and i like the way that you present this it looks very professional i don't know if you're aware that you can do some bold text on upwork um but you know this method of presenting it with the stars here is a proven method that many other freelancers use so and the fact that all of these are the same width here, this one, uh, why you should hire me in my area of expertise, the fact that, you know, they look like they're, they're the exact same width on the screen uh, makes it look really good. So, um, and I think you, yeah, you, you, you have six stars here and five stars here. So it's deliberate. So you did a good job on your layout and it's deliberate, man. You, you, you really have a good attention to detail. Uh, design branding and all of these have this uh, uh, parentheses at, at the end. Yeah, it's, it's a great looking profile. Uh, it's not just well built in terms of what you put inside. Even the layout is pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> so branding, web. Oh, so you do web development. Cool. So I, I, I assume when you said like CMS development, you're talking about programming uh, through CMS. Uh, Adobe, Photoshop, Illustrator. That's awesome. And uh, okay, I'm not sure what digital mar marketing materials is but uh, I'm not sure it's hurting your ability to, to make sales. But maybe if you could detail it more with um, words that are more, that mean more to people, uh, maybe it could help you somewhat. Marketing, print 
print marketing oh okay um, this sort of helps me understand what you meant by this but maybe it wasn't that 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 clear to begin with marketing materials marketing design okay why you should hire me okay strong digital sense attention to detail and creative vision it's very congruent with what I've seen in your your rest of your profile in your portfolio fluent in English excellent communication skills and ability to follow instructions that's surprisingly that that's that's a good thing to mention on Upwork unfortunately there's so many freelancers who who don't follow instructions correctly it's, it, I have so much frustration hiring people in Upwork. You, you have no idea. Maybe you do. Maybe you've hired people in the past and you understand the feeling. So able to work independently and collaboratively, co collaboratively meeting deadlines with high quality results. Man, what you're basically saying here is, hey, if you're a manager and you hire me, you're not going to have trouble. You're basically going to be able to put me with my team or put me on a, on a project and you're going to, your boss is going to be happy with you and you're not going to have a lot of trouble. So you're, you're, you're understand, you understand your, your clients you understand who's hiring you especially in these big businesses and i think your 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 web your profile is really well tailored to that man I, I i sort of feel bad because usually when i review people's profiles i have a lot of things that i tell them to improve but like for you basically what i'm doing is just gushing about how well you you did it but i mean i don't know what else to do i hope you're still enjoying this video regardless and i hope for other people watching like Man, like he, he, there's a lot to learn from this profile. It's a really great profile. If you need a website that wows and graphics that pop, cool, then you should hit that green contact button in the top right corner on this page and to get the design solutions you need. Man, I've never seen a better call to action on Upwork. And I, I'm serious about that. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Cheers, Samuel. Samuel or oh here yeah yeah the, the cheers here makes you seem and the look forward to hearing from you all all that together keeps emphasizing the fact that you are a good option because you are fun to work with and approachable and a nice guy which is um, one of the hiring decision one the the points that d determine who uh, clients hire which is which is great so um, okay so let's see digital editorial work okay edit images okay website development design okay <clears throat> all right all right okay uh, one of the things that i, I want to say about you is that you have a lot of skills and you seem to be very talented at least in design I would say that it's probably going to be a good financial decision if you decide to focus on one thing specifically, uh, your highest value skill that is most in demand amongst all this, because I think that your level of, of, uh, of expertise is very high and you can justify charging a lot of money. One of the things is as a a generalist you have the opportunity to help people with more stuff so some people are going to be willing to pay you more money for the breadth of things that you can do for them but that means spending more hours for you instead I, I would try to offer you the to think about the possibility of instead of trying to get people to want to work with you based on the breadth of what you offer to work with you based on how good you are on one specific thing and try to sell yourself maybe as an expert web designer or expert in in, in one thing very specific with maybe maybe that's close to what you're you're doing by saying you're a graphic designer and web maybe you're trying to get web clients uh and saying you're, you're a good graphic designer because maybe it helps you get web clients through them thinking that you're going to give them a better website. But maybe maybe you should try to look at how you can, instead of doing this, create a, a profile that conveys more benefits through specialties and find a specialty that maybe you could learn or already have that you can advertise uh, or, or market as your one of your extra benefits to justify that you are better than other people at one type of specific jobs to justify that you should 
be paid more money for that specific job. I think if you, with, with the, the portfolio you have, you could, you could move to 50 or 50 or maybe $60 an hour. If you were just building a profile with this level of quality, uh, just emphasizing, uh, your value in just web design or yeah, just web design more than, than graphic design or maybe 45 or, you know, at, at least like a significant amount more than, than, than 30. I think you can make a, a good, good profile with, with specialization, or maybe you could try it on one of your specialized profiles and try to apply to jobs with it and try to, um, try that out. Because I think on, on the side of your, your hourly rate, uh, of the, on the side of, of your, 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 perceived value perceived skill like you're doing an amazing job and it's not congruent with thirty dollars an hour and if and the thing about being presenting yourself as specialized in one thing instead of presenting yourself as specialized in many things is that you seem more valuable even more qualified for that specific type of job when you apply to that specific type of job and being seen as even more valuable being even more qualified makes it so that you can justify a higher higher hourly rate and i mean man i assume for nigeria uh once you're gonna get to like 50 dollars an hour for nigeria i mean you're 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 already succeeding pretty well but like i I, i'm really glad for you that that you developed this opportunity for yourself like uh and and for your family that's that's awesome so let's keep going so let's look at your portfolio i'm gonna go very quickly because I, i think everyone just glancing at it is going to be blown away by by the quality there Okay, so project description. Um, okay, there, there is this that you could improve about your project descriptions, though, is that clients looking at project descriptions don't want to know what your client's company sells to their clients. You know, they, they do want to know it a little bit, but what they really care about is what did you do on this project? Like, what did you do? Did you, uh, for example, you know, this is logo design. It's, it's pretty clear what, what you do. But for uh, web design, okay, no, you did it for project contribution. Good, good. So you understand that, that, that that's what clients are, are looking for. And I like the the um, layout that you, you did there. Awesome. So I, I talked too early. I should have looked at what the project was about. Okay, so you, you did a good job there. Um, uh, and, and I like the fact that at the top you said my role is, is um, was this on this project. So I'm struggling with my internet connection, it seems, right now. So, uh, okay, we, we, we got it back. Awesome. So website design. Uh Yeah, maybe you don't do um, you didn't do the project descriptions uh, using the, the the previous format for all your your jobs. So if you have time, like it's not the most important thing on your on your portfolio, but uh, maybe you, you if you have like uh, an hour or two that you're not sure what to do, you could try to um, uh, include uh, the same format as earlier with um, what the project is, what what the client is about, and then your contribution of, at the top what you did for that project. I think that's uh, that w- that was a great way to to present it. Skills you put a lot of skills, which is great for your uh, SEO and recommendations engine on Upwork. So you did a good job there. Uh, also, one of the things it, once you do specialized, it's much easier to get views on your profile and get invited to jobs as a specialist because um, the way that the algorithm uh, recommendation algorithm on Upwork works is that they try to see who has the most relevant skills for that specific job or that specific search that the clients do. And as a specialist, you're sort of, you get more benefits as a specialist because as a specialist for every type of job that's relevant to to your specialty, well, you're going to have a lot more skill tags and a lot more keywords and a a lot more um, things on your profile that are going to be relevant to that. So you're going to be 
um, helped by the recommendations algorithm. I'm not saying you should do that necessarily on your general profile, but in specialized profiles, it might be a good idea. And uh, yeah, as I said, like, I don't know if web design is, is the skill that you want to sell. Maybe it's not the most lucrative for you, whichever is most lucrative for you. Like, you know, you're, you're so talented. You could do anything like flyer design, uh, logo design, whatever it is. Uh, but find that thing for you. And I would suggest like trying to test it out through uh, specialized profiles, because I think you could significantly increase your hourly rate through um, specializing. Uh, so project catalog. Okay, so you have projects. Um, top level 24, 24 logo for $29. I would change that as soon as you can, because you are worth more than that. But the reason you want to use project catalog is for some people to find jobs, yes, but for other people just to give an impression of people of what they can expect to pay and what they can expect to get for their money. And so what you want to do is basically you could put it at a price that maybe is too high for a project catalog, but it doesn't matter because clients are going to look at these projects and they're going to be looking at this and they're going to see in the description, like what's your process like, and they're going to look at your price and having a higher price on your projects and project catalog increases your perceived value also. So that's one thing that, that you could do. <clears throat> Okay, so, oh, religious or ministry logo. I like $99 pricing. It starts being better, better, yeah. One day delivery, damn. <clears throat> so you have certifications, awesome. So this is also great for um, big enterprise level clients. And employment history outside of Upwork. Yeah, man, you have a great profile with a lot of indicators of, of value, credibility. Yeah, other experiences, uh, WordPress, nice. Nice. <clears throat> I think that's interesting what you did there. I think that those are ex experiences that you had through your jobs or education. But I like the fact that instead of putting nothing in other experiences, you're basically reiterating uh, your expertise, which is basically like a list of things that you can do, if I, if I understand pretty well, looking at it quickly. And also the <laughs> keywords at the end, like, yeah, nice, you're a professional, you know what you're doing, that's great. It's been a it's been a pleasure looking at your profile so far, by the way. So let's look at your specialized profiles, CMS development. So okay, expert WordPress designer, Elementor. Yeah, nice. That that's what I've been using too, uh, as a web developer and web designer. So yeah, uh, awesome. So four jobs, awesome. <clears throat> awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you're a professional. Okay, so I'm not going to look at everything in your um, specialized profiles. Honestly, like I received so many requests for um, people asking me to to review their profiles. I I'm I'm struggling to, to to meet demand right now. I think I'm gonna have to charge money for that in the future just so I can like have quality of life <laughs> because of all the re the requests uh, I I've been getting. Um, but yeah, I, um, I think I'm going to stop here and try to spend the rest of the afternoon um, looking at other people's profiles and uh, giving them help. I think obviously, like Samuel, you're doing a great job and you're doing great. I hope that uh, the little tips I gave you were helpful and that you appreciated this uh, profile review. If you have any questions, like uh, by all means, ask me in the comments with that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next videos. Take care.